In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Amen. Good evening. Good evening, Father. My dear brothers and sisters, coming together to celebrate the Holy Eucharist once again. Let us close our eyes for a moment. We thank God for the gift of the Eucharist and the privilege that is given to us to be partaking in this celebration. The theme of the liturgy very clearly speaks to us about the need to be very hospitable to our brothers and sisters. And we offer this Mass very specially for the departed soul of Linda von der Borg, whose anniversary is tomorrow. We pray that God, in His richest mercy, grant her eternal rest and peace. Let's for a moment acknowledge all our shortcomings and failures and ask for God's pardon and forgiveness. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have been very deceived in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my mysterious fault. Therefore, I ask the Spirit of your liberty, for all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us. May He forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. Christ have mercy. Christ have mercy. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. Lord be God in the highest and on earth peace to be the Lord would will. We pray. He asked. 
Gehazi answered, Well, she has no son and her husband is old. Elisha said, Call her, the servant called her and she stood at the door. This time next year, Elisha said, You will hold the son in your arm. This is the word of the Lord. I will sing forever of your love, O Lord. Through all ages, my mouth will proclaim your truth. Of this, I am sure that your love lasts forever, that your truth is firmly established as the heavens. Is not worthy of me. 
Anyone who finds his life will lose it. Anyone who loses his life for my sake will find it. Anyone who welcomes you welcomes me. And those who welcome me welcome the one who sent me. Anyone who welcomes a prophet because he is a prophet will have a prophet's reward. And anyone who welcomes a holy man because he is a holy man will have a holy man's reward. If anyone gives so much as a cup of cold water to one of these little ones because he is a disciple, then I tell you solemnly, he will most certainly not lose his reward. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise you. My dear brothers and sisters, I would like to share with you a very small reflection. One day, a travel agent in his office was looking out through the window and suddenly finds an old man and a woman coming and looking through the advertisement which was uh, giving packages for a tour to different places. Both the old man and the woman, who looked a little wiry and in shabby clothes, were looking at uh, the various arrays mentioned on the app. This travel agent had a very good week with so many sales. And he thought of extending his good luck to this old couple. And, they, and he called them in and asked them, would you like to go on a tour? And both of them were delighted to hear that this travel agent was willing to sponsor them to a tour to the Canary Islands. With the beautiful tour package both of them were sent. After a month, this old lady returned to the travel agent in a very joyful mood and he asked her, how was your trip? And the lady said, my trip went very well. It was so good. The plane was good. The hotel which you had arranged was really wonderful. The food and everything was okay. But I just wonder still, who was that old man whom you sent with me to share the room? <laughs> My dear brothers and sisters, hospitality, helping mind and kind-heartedness is the theme for the gospel today. Not only the gospel, even in the first reading, how Elisha was offered such a hospitality though he was a stranger. And ultimately, as Jesus tells, even so much as a cup of cold water, if you offer in my name, will be rewarded. You will see the couple without any children for years being rewarded with the, with the promise of a child because they were hospitable and kind towards a stranger, Elisha. And in the Gospel, Jesus while sending out his disciples, instructing them, and today's part of the Gospel is the concluding part of all his instructions. And what did he say? Anyone who receives you, receives me. Anyone who rejects you, rejects me. Anyone who offers a cup of cold water because you are my disciple will be rewarded. My dear brothers and sisters, we are living at a time where the slogan is what, what is that sentence which you, those words that you hear the most 
during these COVID times? Huh? Social isolation, distancing, these are the catch words and catch phrases at this time. And if you look back to days where this pandemic was not existing and social distancing and isolation all were not the catch phrases, how did we live? We were in a way busy building walls, iron gates, putting up surveillance cameras, all that we considered as important so that we are safe. We have in a way taught the generations that come after us not to have real concern for a stranger but be careful of the stranger. This is how the society has evolved. Against this materialistic background wherein one's own security is the utmost important thing that one looks for. The rights of others live alone, be charitable and not so respected. Today's gospel is an invitation and should be an eye opener for us how to live our Christian lives. Having love, concern and uh, a good relationship with uh, everyone even if we do not know them. Maybe a cup of cold water today does not mean anything much. It should be equal to a few good words to a person whom you meet, a good smile. Sometimes a telephone call to someone who feels so lonely, very specially at this time of social isolation. And remember those words of Jesus, when you have done this to someone, you have done it to me. My dear brothers and sisters, if you can place also the last judgment scene as a continuation of today's gospel, all what Jesus tells is the same. Whenever you did it to one of the least of these, you did it to me. And whenever you failed to do this to one of the least of these, you failed to do it to me. Meaning to say, you must see the face of God present, the face of Jesus present on every face that you see. This is what inspired and encouraged great saints like Mother Teresa of Calcutta to be so kind-hearted and charitable because she was able to see the face of Jesus present in the face of every suffering human being. And when we are able to see that face of Jesus on the face of everyone and act kindly and lovingly, surely you become partakers in the building up of God's kingdom here on earth. May God bless all of us in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Let us all start and together profess our faith. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, Creator of heaven and earth. And in Jesus Christ. This only is our Lord. He was conceived by the Holy Spirit. Born of the Virgin Mary. He surrounded by the Spirit. Was crucified and was buried. He descended to the earth. On the day he was buried, he was buried. He ascended to heaven.
my sisters and brothers god's word today has taught us about how the grace of hospitality the new life of baptism and courage in carrying our own cross all draw us closer to jesus christ we pray that pope francis successor to the apostle peter will be filled with grace and sustained with good health as he and the church prepare to celebrate the holy apostles peter and paul on monday lord hear our prayer lord hear our prayer we pray that within our own faith and culture we will learn from other faiths and cultures how important and liberating it is to offer hospitality to the poor and the homeless the stranger and the lonely the sick and the frightened lord hear our prayer Lord, hear our prayer. We pray that every day Christians will value the new life which they received in baptism, so that by dying to the sins of selfishness, greed, and violence, they will, in the spirit, by thoughtful of be thoughtful of others, generous in charity, and peaceful in relationships. Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray that for the people of the land where Jesus lived, walked, died, and rose, there will be a new opportunity led by universal diplomacy to secure border stability for Israel and Palestine, share water resources, equal opportunities for living with dignity and freedom of movement. Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray that as the rates of COVID-19 infection continue to increase around the world, governments and citizens will continue to play their part in striving to halt its spread and assist those whose lives are affected by it. Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray that those who have died in the Israeli-Palestinian conflict and through the COVID-19 virus will find peace in our one true God. We also remember Father Wayne Byron's square of the Archdiocese of Adelaide, along with those in our memorial book. Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. Eternal God, with joy we walk in the light of your face, and as our lives are secure in your truth, enable us to work for justice everywhere, through Christ our Lord. Amen.
is our sacrifice. May be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. And the Lord is sacrifice your hands for the praise and glory of His name. For our good and the Lord is holy church. O oh God, who graciously accomplished the effects of your mysteries, grant we pray that the deeds by which we serve you may be worthy of these sacred gifts. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with Lift up your hearts. Lift your hearts Lord. Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. Yes. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord and Saviour. For out of compassion for the waywardness that is ours, he humbled himself and was born of the Virgin. By the passion of the cross, he freed us from unending death, and by rising from the dead, he gave us life eternal. And so with the angels and archangels, with the thrones and dominions, and with all the hosts and powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory, as without end we acclaim. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of our faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one with the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring it to the fullness of charity, together with Francis our Pope, Patrick O'Regan our Archbishop and all the clergy. Remember your servant, Linda von der Borg, whom you have called from this world into yourself. Grant that she who was united with your son in her death like his may also be one with him in his resurrection. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who 
have died in your mercy. Welcome them in the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray. Then with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with the Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, and with him, and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours, forever and ever. Thank you. 
this gray. May this divine sacrifice we have offered and received fill us with the life, O Lord, we pray, so that, bound to you in lasting charity, we may bear fruit that lasts forever. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Mass is ended. Let us go out in the peace and joy of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God. Thank you. Thank you, Father.